What would you do if one day former president of the United States Richard Nixon approached you holding a big jar of green sludge claiming that he has unlocked the secret to immortality. He has in fact cheated death, traveled beyond the very gates of heaven towards forever. And he did all of this through the very green goo inside his iconic jar. And he is willing to share this great gift with you only if you are willing to take a big old gulp of his sludge. His green sludge. This is a pretty mouth-watering hypothetical I have for you today. Now the dilemma here is, do I drink Dick Nixon's sludge in order to achieve immortality and travel to the great beyond with good old number 37? Or decline his offer, refuse to drink his sludge, and accept the fact that I will one day die. And I'm fine with that. The lifetime I was able to lead was perfect. And anything more would only be superfluous. Those are our two options here. To drink the sludge or not to drink the sludge. Immortality or mortality. That is the great question that we are pondering. There are a lot of factors to consider here that will no doubt affect my decision on whether I'm going to drink the sludge. The primary factor being trustworthiness. Do I trust Richard Nixon and his claim that this sludge does indeed make you immortal? First of all, correct me if I'm wrong here. But isn't the guy standing in front of me supposed to be dead and buried? If you're a Nixon head, if you're a Nixon head, you would know that Richard Nixon died on April 22nd, 1994. If that's all so, then please explain to me why this guy who's supposed to be dead is standing right in front of me living and breathing, demanding that I drink his sludge that supposedly grants immortality. Unless there is credibility to his claim. He did in fact travel beyond the gates of heaven towards forever because he drank the sludge which grants immortality. And if I drink it too, I as well will be able to travel beyond eternity and live out my forever life with my greatest hero and America's hottest president. In yeah, that solves it. I'm Empire drinking that sludge. My decision is made, and it- But wait! That in my ears There's one life. more thing. That I welcome this kind of examination because this people have got to know is Richard. Or not I am not a crook, Nixon. Well, I'm not a crook. We're talking I've about here. Everything I've a done. historically famous President. crook. If you're a history buff like myself, you would know that this guy is how do I say this? A little bit problematic. Why is he so problematic? You might ask. Well, that is on account of a little controversy that he was a part of known as Watergate. What is Watergate, you might ask? Well, let me give you the spark notes. Watergate was the attempt by the Nixon administration to cover up its involvement in the break-in at the Democratic National Committee headquarters at the Watergate complex, and the subsequent attempts by the Nixon administration to impede the investigation surrounding Watergate. You know, some pretty 
rotten stuff. This whole Watergate situation showed to the American public that Nixon was a liar and a thief, and not a man to be trusted. And it really pains me to say this, but if the American people can't trust the president, then how can I trust him when he says his sludge, his green sludge, grants immortality? Even though I desperately want to spend my afterlife with him and his absolutely gorgeous nose, I just can't. I know a red flag when I see one, and Watergate is a pretty big red flag, and because of that, I'm gonna have to turn love down and decline your offer. I won't be drinking even an ounce of your sludge, you thief. I'll just be spending the rest of my mortal life yearning for what could have been, only if you were more honest. And because of that, I'm out. is what I would say if it weren't for the iconic Supreme Court case Trump v. United States, which completely retroactively exonerates Nixon, proving once and for all to all you doubting Thomases that he is indeed not a crook. If you're not a Constitution head, you might not understand why this is the case, but luckily for you, I am a constitution head, so let me explain to you why this dictates that he's not a crook. Trump of the United States dictates that presidential immunity extends to all a president's official acts, and no doubt in my mind that Watergate was an official act. And I'm not just saying this because I have a crush on Nixon. And I'm not just saying this because I have a crush on Nixon. I don't. I'm just a girl who finds his nose incredibly seductive. I'm saying this because as a constitution head, I care about following the rules. Following the rules that the Founding Fathers established for the Constitution. And I'll be damned if we break even one of those rules. If the rules dictate that he's not in trouble at all here, then so be it. It's time. Stop. Thusly, since he didn't break the rules, he has proven himself to be a trustworthy individual. Because anyone who follows the rules is most likely a person that I can trust. And if I can trust him to follow the rules, then I can trust when he says that his sludge grants immortality. Because lying to me about the effects of the sludge is tantamount to breaking the rules. And it is proven by the Supreme Court that this is something he doesn't do. And with that, my decision is made. I'm drinking that sludge. I will travel to a new dawn with my greatest hero and confidant, shiny and chrome. Two platonic lovers arm in arm. Will they kiss? Only eternity hell. And now we arrive at the secondary factor that we must consider. Do I want to live forever? And honestly, I don't really feel like I want to do that right now. So I'm not going to do it. Video open.